would not carpenter is not very happy right now. I just finished practicing my first mortise and let me just say this, I, I hate being a beginner. You just make dumb mistakes, overlook things that would not be overlooked if you had more experience, which I guess is the whole point of learning and practicing, huh? Uh, long story short, I think this will work, but I made a lot of mistakes. Part of the problem was with this beam I was practicing on, and I was hoping to use these laminated beams for the legs, but I'm not sure that's going to be a good idea. I have one, two, three, four seams running the length of the beam, plus numerous seams cross-cutting where the boards were laminated together. The bit on the mortise came across one of those seams and snatched that little piece of wood right off the seam and ejected it. Another time I forgot to tighten up the bolts on the supporting rods that were holding the router. So when I started moving the router side to side, I ended up overlapping the boundary of the cut I wanted to make. So instead of a two and a half inch wide mortise, I now have a two and five eighths inch mortise, which is not going to work. Because if these mortises are not exact, that's going to misalign all the other parts of my workbench. So I, ha I have to get this right. I'm only going to be able to go down, it looks like, two inches. That's about as far as I can go down. Because what happened is when I tried to overextend the bit, it actually flew out of the machine out of the router. That happened to me twice. One time I had it pushed down and it caught the bottom of the mortise at startup and cranked the bit in the, in the machine and I had to quickly turn it off before the router bit got thrown out. This, this setup actually worked really well. I mean, the chips went through and everything, and I decided instead of having both edge guards up against the board that I would move them the appropriate distance apart so that I could slide the router back and forth. That worked very well, except once again, you have to make sure everything's tightened down and that it doesn't vibrate a loose during use. Uh, anyway, I think it's going to work. My next thing to practice is going to be squaring up these corners with my mortise, mortising chisels. I think that's going to work. They work better cutting across the grain, which I'm very surprised with instead of going with the grain, because sometimes if you go with the grain, it tends to peel off and remove more wood than you want to. If you go against the grain, or you're cutting across the grain with the razor edge of the chisel, it chops it off a lot easier. So my learning curve just got a little bit steeper. Thanks for coming by. Take a look at some of the video after this and you'll see what I was trying to do and what happened. And when I come back, hopefully I'll have all these bugs worked out and when we work on that real foot unit, we won't mess it up. Because if we mess up the real piece, then we're gonna to have to reconstruct that piece all over again. Which, hey, I guess if you have to do that, you have to do it. Long story short, especially to you young kids out there. If you are trying something new and it is not easy, do not give up. You have to persevere. You have to practice. You have to go through the sweat and tears to learn it, which is what I'm doing right now. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, check out the videos and you'll see what happened, guys.
In the meantime, take care. I love you. See you on the next episode. Okay, I have determined that in order to cut to the near end of the mortise, the router has to stop at exactly this position. So I have cut this block exactly the width of the foot unit. I'm going to slide it in here between the two edge guides and I'm going to tap it right up against the router just like that. Now in order to hold it there I'm going to clamp it. Okay, so that's the far end. And now I'm gonna put a similar stop up here to keep it from going the other way. And now all I have to do is determine the far reach of the router, which is right. there exactly according to the lines I have marked on my piece. So I'm going to take this board, slide it up so it just touches the router, clamp it in place. So now I have a stop going in both directions so I don't route too far. This is how I look when I'm actually working. Ear protection, eye protection, respirator. I'm too old to be breathing sawdust. So this is how I, how I work. inches this is four and a half so I would like to have this mortise go down to this far from the far edge but I just don't think I'm going to be able to do with that because even now this is so steep that I don't think I can get in here effectively with my mortising chisel there is a mortise plane that you can use, but I'm not even sure that would extend down far enough in there to actually make a difference. So, looks like I'm gonna to have to go with a two inch deep mortise on these legs, and all of these other errors will be cleaned up, hopefully on the next practice session. So, wow, that was pretty ugly. <laughs>